Hello there, Rob here from robshealthcrunch.com. Right, another little workout session, which is basically a stretching, a stretching and skills, skill set. So mobility, flexibility, stretching, a little bit of strength involved and a bit of skill at the end, which is the headstand. Right, so start this one off. It's a, something very easy, every kid can do, but most adults cannot because they get so stiff, which is the uh, classic back roll. Now, why do we do that? We do that to stretch out the lower back here and the vertebrae, because the vertebrae are very tight and locked and also the neck. And you need to be able to get that flexibility of your back back. Watch, you push yourself up using your arms, you push your butt back and you tilt back. And then you stay and you slowly, slowly, slowly come back down. Okay, and then you rest. And then when you're in the position, you raise up. This is a strength move. Lower your legs to the left side, keeping them straight at a right angle. And all the way around to the next other side, to the right. Stop, and all the way up. Do that four or five times. That really twists the core and the hips. And it's a fantastic workout for your stomach. Rest, and again, roll back, and hold, and release, slowly, slowly, so you can click each vertebrae as you go down. Right, now that can be repeated two, 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 three times in a row, as can every single exercise, you can do them two, three, four times if you can. Next will be the, the uh, hip twist. So right leg straight, left leg over the knee, over the right knee, right elbow to the, to the left leg, and you twist around, and you're pushing yourself really far back, which is an incredible stretch here and here. Again, many people can't do this because it's, it's quite difficult to hold it. It's important you don't like this, you've got to be upright and straight, good, good, good posture. And you switch. muscles by pushing your leg, putting weight on your triceps too. Okay, as we're in this position, we then go put our feet together as close as we can and then you're pushing your knees out as far as you can, stretching your inner thighs. That is very hard to do because again, most people are very stiff there. Can barely get past this position, so you've got to try to ease yourself into it and go further and further each time. And again, you're using your muscles to push your legs out while you're stretching your legs, your inner legs, inner thighs. And you switch to one side, right leg against left knee. Here you're going to grab the toes or your lower leg if you can't reach that far, and you pull yourself down as far as you can go. Hold. Should be a 20 second hold. The more you do this, and me too, like now if I do this two, three times, I'll get down to my knee, but it's the first time I've done it today, so I'm a bit stiff. And that's a fantastic stretch for your hamstrings and also the lower back, and it's also doing it in a inner thigh here. Wonderful. Then we are going to do one more thing just to loosen up the back is that the cobra again. And then after the cobra position which releases the, the core and is also stretching the lower back. I want you to go into the so-called uh, push down position but don't push down. Instead, widen your legs, your feet stance, lift your right arm forward, and you stay like that for these 20, 30 seconds, right? Change position, left arm up and forward. To add difficulty, when you're ready, 
You can raise one leg and one arm. Okay? It's very hard to do because of the balance. As you can see, balancing on one foot and one leg on the opposite side is difficult and it requires an awful lot of strength. But the more you train, try, you'll get there. So that basically completes the, the stretching session of the lower part, back area, legs, and then a little strength move with his arms and legs. And then, last but not least, to finish things off, I always like to finish with the headstand because it's a relaxing, focusing, meditational position. Now the key to this is how you get up. So, you get up by going tippy-toe. Grabbing your head and you tippy-toe up, so you, your, your torso is raised so far that you just float up, and then you raise your legs. stretch and once you're in position and balanced you can actually relax and then come down nice and slowly and that's that with a headstand once you've got into getting up and balance and finding the sweet spot the balance you have to aim for at least one minute if not two and then go to three go to four go to five I can do 15 minutes straight, no problem, because it becomes very, very easy to do after some time. That's it for this one. Thank you very much. Come and see the next video at robshealthfresh.com. See you later. Bye-bye.